anything goes wrong with this video, I'm quitting YouTube. Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. I have had some real bad luck recently. I mean, in general, like, <laughs> quite, quite frankly, the past year has been an awful lot of bad luck. But recently it's been like extra bad luck. And on top of that, like quite, there's been a very specific type of bad luck, especially right now, and that is all around YouTube videos. I recorded two that just, I, I hated how I looked so much that I couldn't get past it and I didn't want to use. And then that choice was taken away from me anyway because I lost two memory cards somehow. Love that. So that was a, a big waste of time. And then I recorded a video the other night. As you can see here, here I am, happily talking away. Look at this sweet dumbass just chatting away, having a good time. And then I sat down to edit it yesterday, I think, and I hadn't turned on the microphone. So there's no, there's no, there was no sound. The whole way through it, none. And my sanity is, it's already like hanging on by a thread at the minute. So that, that, so this one better go well. So what we're doing today is we are reading some more of your assumptions. I asked for assumptions on Instagram a little while ago now actually, but I screenshotted like all of the assumptions and I've got them saved, I've got them ready and we're going to try to go through as many of them as possible. A portion of today's video is sponsored, but we can talk about that a bit later. I hope none of y'all were mean because <laughs> I don't think I could handle it today, but let's see. Number one is you love Hufflepuff, a a Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff aesthetic. That's hard to say fast. Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff aesthetic. You love Hufflepuff aesthetic, but you don't like Harry Potter as a series. Much love. Once upon a time, this would have been a very easy question to answer. Once upon a time, my answer simply would have been, no, I love both. I love Harry Potter in general, and I love the Hufflepuff aesthetic. But then that old bitch had to ruin it, didn't she? So it puts me in a difficult posi position because I grew up adoring that series and especially the movies and they're like a real comfort thing to me. And it's not like my love for that, the feeling that those movies give me can just disappear into thin air, but it has been severely tainted by that twat just being an absolute cunt. So I can't like say with my full chest, I love Harry Potter because, because of, because of, so I, I wouldn't really, I don't know what I could say about how I feel about the series at this point. Um, but yeah, before all that happened, my love was not just for the Hufflepuff, Puff, Hufflepuff aesthetic, it was for all of it. And now I'm sad. You love frogs. I do love frogs. I've always loved frogs. It's always very exciting when you find one. You're not much into talking about your really personal life. Yes. As shocking as it may be, because I'm the queen of oversharing, especially on Twitter. Just, oh my god, Twitter is just where I like vent and just, I'm sad! Um, I, I overshare a lot, but then with like certain things that I think are like too personal, then yeah, I won't talk about it much. Like for instance, there are an awful lot of like sex type quite like assumptions here, which in general isn't something I really talk about, but we're especially not going to today because I know my mom watches these watches these videos. Hi mom! So I'd rather not get into that. But yes, yeah, so I overshare a lot, but there's definitely like then a limit where I'm like, no, that's personal. You own more than 50 phone cases. This is my current phone case. Uh, I wouldn't say more than 50. I would say I definitely have more than 20. I maybe have more than 30, but I don't think I qu I'm quite up to 50. Plus now it's like split between two different phones because after years of trying to avoid it, I did upgrade a while back. So all my six plus cases are just a collection now. There's like a lot of people who are just like, you know, just saying nice things about me, which like, I, I really appreciate, thank you, but I'm obviously not gonna sit here and like read them all out. <laughs> Cause y'all are just buttering me up. I see ya. You're happy in a monogamous relationship and Monaco poly. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely nothing against people who are poly. It's just, I know that for me it wouldn't work. It's just not a type of relationship that would work for me for a whole bunch of reasons. So yeah, no, I'm definitely like a monogamous person. Seem like the type of person who'd be down to explore spooky abandoned buildings. Yes, all the time, anytime. I am down for it. I think there's like at least one vlog on this channel where I do that. I don't know if there's maybe more, but I feel like there's definitely one at least. And I feel like if you search like Toxic Tears Abandoned Hotel, no, not hotel, not hotel. What, what's the word museum? Abandoned museum, you might find it. I feel like it has something like that in the title. You like sweet foods more than salty foods. 
I don't know, honestly. I do have a massive sweet tooth. I am, like, especially with chocolate, I am very into things like that. But I feel like sometimes I do prefer, like, a starter to a dessert. You would hang out with Rob Zombie. I would. He seems like an absolute sweetheart. I swear if anything ever comes out about him and it turns out he's, like, an awful person, which just keeps happening. It's not safe to like anything anymore. Like, just... I feel like over the years, everything I love is slowly being ruined because the people who made the things I love just can't help themselves from being absolute dickheads. So, yeah, if anything ever comes out about Rob Zombie, I'm going to cry because he has consistently seemed like an absolute sweetie and I can't handle that. Especially whenever he was like standing up for baby metal, whenever like a bunch of boring old man metalheads were bitching and complaining about them and he was like standing up for them. That was so cute. I assume you're never bored. I am actually bored a lot. I get bored very, very easily and whenever I am bored, it's actually physically painful and I have literally cried from boredom before because just sometimes there's just nothing I feel like doing, you know? Like I can look around the room and look at like a thousand things I could do, but just none of them are what I want to do and I will actually cry if I get too bored because like it hurts. You look mean, but you're actually a sweetheart. I feel, there were like a bunch like that actually. I remember from when I glanced over them, there were a bunch of people saying like that I look mean, but I'm actually really nice. I'm like, do I look mean? I didn't think I look mean. <laughs> quite upset that so many people think I look mean. But at, like, uh, for the other part, I, I don't know, I like to think that I'm a nice person. It feels weird to say me like, yes, I'm a very nice and sweet person. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> I, I like to hope that in general, I come across as a nice person. That you don't wash your makeup brushes as often as you should, no judgment, I do it too. Yeah, you got me, you definitely got me. I do wash them, but definitely not as often as I should. I think a lot of it's like, cause I'm bad with timing things and I'm always afraid like, I'll wash my brushes and it'll be like that day or the next day that I'll like need to do my makeup and then they're all wet. But that is something that I need to get on top of a lot more. I feel like most people don't wash their brushes as often as they should. Don't know if everyone's open about it, but I feel like most people. <laughs> Your secret love is actually Lolita fashion. Um, it's not much of a secret. I, I wouldn't say it's like my like one, like it, that I love it more than anything else, but I do love Lolita fashion and I have for, pff, must be over 10 years at this point. It's just not something I wear super often. Like it's like once in a blue moon, I'll wear something that's like even vaguely Lolita-esque, but it's something that I love and that I know a lot more about than people might think because you don't really see me wearing it. But like whenever I get interested in a fashion, I do like deep dives into the whole history and just everything about it. So yeah, I could like ramble off just a Wikipedia page worth of Lolita at this point, I'm sure, but yeah. It's hard for you to let things go because you put some sort of sentimental value to everything even if you don't use it. Yes, that is a problem for me. I am a hoarder and a lot of it is because of that. <laughs> I thought you would hate the color pink. Have you figured out at this point that that is incorrect? <laughs> you don't like video games too terribly much, but if you do play, you prefer a fantasy slash horror RPG. No, I actually love video games. My problem is I often sort of can't let myself play them because if I get really into a game, I get really into a game and it's all I'll do and you can't get me off of it and then I don't do all the things that I'm supposed to do like YouTube videos and other important stuff to the point where like if you try, like if someone tries to get me off of the game, I will get like snappy. Like I just, I get really, really obsessed and it's like all I care about. So a lot of the time I'll like, put off starting a new game because I'm afraid of that happening. But yeah, definitely like RPGs and stuff like that would be, like anything with a story basically I'm into. Some of my favorites would be, I love the Fallout series. Well, starting from three, I haven't played the first two because they're very different, but three, New Vegas and four. I haven't played 76 because I don't want to play with other, I don't like online games. But yeah, three, New Vegas and four. I love Fallout despite its many, 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 many flaws. Those games are, <laughs> glitchy as all hell, but I do love the Fallout series. I love Days Gone. I, I've been getting like random little like just memory flashes of when I played Days Gone for the past couple of weeks. Like just as I'm going about my day, I'll just get like a little memory flash. And I've been really wanting to play it again because of that. It's so, so good. Another one I adore is Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh my God. Whenever I first started playing that game, I really wasn't into it and I didn't think I was gonna like it. And I was just playing it because I was bored and I was like, eh, yeah, okay. I, I just, I, would, I wasn't into it and I was so wrong. I ended up so into it. It's, I think, one of the best games ever, even just for the story alone. Like, if you take out all the other elements, just the story, I don't know how many times I cried during that game. I genuinely think everyone should play it. Even if, like, you're not into video games, even if you just put on the easiest mode for the whole time just to get through it, just for the story, I feel like everyone 
everyone needs to see Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, Dying Light for a long time was like my absolute favorite and I still really love it as well. I really like zombie games and stuff. <laughs> I think you're nice, but if someone does you wrong, you can be so cruel. When I first saw this, I was like, no, I don't think so. I don't think... But then I kind of thought more about more. It's not if someone does me wrong, I can be so cruel. I, f it, I feel like it's more if someone does one of my friends wrong, <laughs> then I have the potential to to be pure evil. It was like, one, there was one time one of my friends, her boyfriend cheated on her. And not only did he cheat on her, but he was also like gaslighting her and telling her she was like crazy and paranoid whenever she like knew something was going on when he was doing the thing. And when all that came out, I was ready to destroy that boy's life in every possible way. I had plans to get him fucking fired. I had plans to cause issues in his like family relationships. Look, I was really mad I didn't do it. Mostly because just because she told me not to, but I was like enraged. And I feel like if I had have been like let loose and unleashed. So yeah, whenever someone does like something mean to me, I'm more likely to just cry and be sad. But whenever someone does something mean to one of my friends, like I am like, I will have them killed. I don't know how to hire a hitman, but I will figure it out and I will have them killed. And I won't feel bad about it. You cry during really cheesy movies. I cry at everything. I am a crier. Everything makes me cry. It happens very easily. It's just a miracle that I haven't died of dehydration at this point. You were actually the loud kid in school. Yeah, I think so. I was like bouncing off the wall, hyper, just absolutely insane as a kid. So yep, yeah, probably. You want to lose weight. Jeez, I mean, yeah, but. You wish you could upload more regularly, but can't bring yourself to record slash edit enough. <sighs> and we just talked about how easily I cry. Yes, and I have been feeling very, very guilty for I don't know however many months now. For as many months as I've been like really, really, really bad with uploading. It has been just absolutely eating away at me and I'm just not feeling good about it. But like even before the world <laughs> went to absolute bollocks. My mental health wasn't that great and right now without being a, like a massive downer and sitting here and talking about just absolutely everything just I'm not doing well <laughs> life is just at a really just a point where I'm just every day is just a bloody struggle <laughs> at the minute and it's like hard to just breathe let alone get up and get dressed and set up cameras and lights and sit down and try to be entertained so yeah I'm really, really trying to get back on top of it, but I'm really, really not doing well. Anywho, picky eater. No, certainly not in t terms of like, I'll, I'll eat pretty much anything. Like there are very few foods that I genuinely can't stand and won't touch. So certainly not in that sense, but I do get annoyed if food's just like bad. Like I like food to be prepared well and to be good. And if it's not, then I'm like, I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> but I'm not like a picky eater in the sense like, you know, I oh, won't eat this. Oh, won't eat that. Mm, I don't like that. Definitely not. <laughs> Sometimes you're jealous of Jake's makeup looks. Um, not really. I like Jake's makeup looks, but I'm not jealous of them because if I wanted to do that kind of makeup look, that's the kind of makeup I'd be doing, but we just have very different styles, as you can see. <laughs> Sad girl. <laughs> yep. Fake laugh, hiding real tears. <laughs> you love when people stare or give dirty looks because it's funny. No, I hate it. I really hate it. It makes me really paranoid and I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're anxious about how others see you. I would say that's accurate. I don't want it to be. I wish that weren't the case, but I would say that's accurate. You can be really nice, but are secretly a bitch. I hope not. Like, no, I, I wouldn't consider myself to be. You can never get enough time in nature. Yeah, I love being out in nature. You hate spiders. No, I love spiders. Oh, you must be new here. No, I, I love spiders, which is just as well because this house is full of massive spiders. You're like five foot four or something. No, I am five foot ten, and in my, in most of the, sh I only wear like a couple of pairs of flat shoes. Most of my shoes are platforms, so I'm five foot ten in flat shoes. In most of the shoes that I'd wear on a daily basis, I'm about six foot two, and in my tallest platforms, I am six foot five. <laughs> you have this one pair of uncomfortable shoes that you never wear but still have. I have a lot of shoes like that. I have quite a few pairs of shoes that are just super uncomfortable, and because of that, I almost never wear them. But I keep hoping that they'll be like. Opportunity, like nights out that will mostly involve sitting, you know? I have a lot of like sitting shoes. You often hop from one interest to another without completing the previous interest. Yes. And that's on ADHD. You look tough because of your makeup and outfits, but really you will cry if someone's rude to me. Again, do I look tough? Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I am a fragile little girl. 
<laughs> fragile little six foot five in platforms. <laughs> you love Jake's new motorcycles. Uh, the man he just has like what he has like the little sort of cheap one two five he bought before he like passed his full test, but he just has like one proper one now. And yeah, it's cool. But you know, I love you for more. My new scooter. <laughs> for anyone who didn't know about that, I think I mentioned it in one of the videos that I ended up not using because I just. But uh, yeah, adventures on that soon, maybe. That's a whole thing that probably requires more talking about. But yeah, I have a scooter now. <laughs> you naturally have a resting bitch face, but a really sweet pill gets to know you. I don't think I actually have resting bitch face. I more have like resting miserable face. Like if I'm just completely relaxed and like, you know, not thinking about anything, my face is just neutral. Instead of looking like angry or bitchy, I think I tend to just look like I wish I was dead. <laughs> you have a lot of fancy goth clothes that do not see the light of day. Right now, yeah. <sighs> so many pretty clothes that deserve outings into the world and it's just not happening right now. <laughs> You're a good cook. I think so. I like to think I am. You overthink everything to the point of panic. Yes, I do. I actually... Oh, because everything's so stressful right now, like, the past, especially this morning, but the past little while, I keep waking up to immediate anxiety. Like that kind of anxiety where you can't breathe and it feels like someone's like sitting on your chest and it's really, and you're like, and it's like really hard to get a breath. And every morning I'd like wake up and like just remember the things that need to be done or the things that stress me out or the things that are just ruining life right now. And I'm just, I wake up to my heart being like thump, 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 thump. And I'm like, so. <laughs> you're actually really low maintenance and laid back. I feel like, I feel like I kind of like exist at two ep opposite ends of the scale at the same time because in some ways I'm very low maintenance but then in other ways also I like my makeup and my clothes and all of that and then about some things I'm very laid back and like you know if things go wrong I'll be like it's fine you know we can deal with it but with other things I'm very very stressy and panicky so I kind of exist in both realms. <laughs> you used to dislike cats but Sebastian changed it all. No, <laughs> I've always loved cats. Pretty much any animal, but like, I've always loved cats. You seem so mean. How? Well, thanks. You're a candy corn lover. I am neutral about candy corn. I don't have any strong feelings about candy corn, but we don't really have it in the UK. It's not what I expected though. I always thought it'd be crunchy. I know we had this one last time, but it's another person who's assuming that I am into DDLG, ABDL, ABD, no. No, I just like cute things, please. I, and I get it so much. People always assume that I'm into DDLG just cause I like, I like cute things and pink shit. And I, I so don't, it makes me so uncomfortable. And it makes me even more uncomfortable when people assume that about me and then try to engage with me or involve me in their kink. And I'm like, please don't. And do you know what's made it worse? And I am going to kill him for it. The whole thing with like Jake calling himself daddy on his YouTube channel, because that's, that was supposed to be a joke. He hates the whole like daddy thing as much as I do. Like he, we both hate it, but he started as a joke on his channel and then it became a huge thing. And then because of the whole daddy thing, that makes people think even more that I am into that and I am going to kill him. I am going to kill him stone dead because I blame him for part of this. That you are currently unhappy. We got turned on for another house day or two ago. I, oof. This time last year, we were meant to be apartment hunting in Barcelona. Things did not work out. You're not into monogamy. I have no idea what has given you that impression, but no, I am. Someone in your family doesn't like the way you dress. Probably, I, I imagine like quite a few of the people in my family don't particularly like how I dress, but it's been a long time. I feel like at this point, they've generally accepted it. So that's fine with me. They don't have to like it as long as it's not like a huge problem. You have a secret pop music playlist. It is not a secret. It is on my Spotify. It is called I think cheesy pop nightmare or something is there for anyone to see. <laughs> you eat heavily unseasoned food. No, I cannot cope with unseasoned food. Even if I order food, I need to add extra seasoning to it. Jake always makes fun of me for acting like I'm a witch in the kitchen because I'm always just pouring in all my seasonings and spices and stuff. I don't like spicy food. Like I don't like food that like scorches my mouth, but I like flavorful, flavorful food. <laughs> you secretly listen to Doja Cat. I remember seeing this when I first asked and just, I am so not hip because I had to look up Doja Cat when I got this assumption because I had heard the name before, like in passing, I'd never given it much thought, but I always thought Doja Cat was like some sort of like cartoon character or like mascot, you know, like, you know, like Pusheen or like Nan Cat, like, like, you know, like some, something, that's what I thought, thought Doja Cat was. 
<laughs> so then when someone was like, you secretly listened to Doja Cat, I was like, wait, what? So I had to look it up. <laughs> no, it is not a cartoon cat. From what I heard, it's not really my type of music though, but yeah, <laughs> just, ooh. Hello, fellow kids. You live alone. No, <laughs> I live with Jake. Uh, we've, oh God, how long have we lived together now? God, it must be like 10 and a half years now. Yeah, no, Jake, J Jake and I have been living together for like 10 and a half years. We've been together for 11 years in April and we've lived together for like 10 and a half. And last one, because oh my God, I've been talking a long time. Um, you're a bit of a weeb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Oh dear, okay, so. And that is the end of, ah. Mm. I just like clunked my heel off of the wheel of this chair and even though I didn't hit it hard, it like really hurt. Okay, so that is the end of the assumptions. On to the sponsor portion of today's video. So today's video is once again sponsored by the lovely Skillshare. They have sponsored a few videos here before and for that we love them dearly. Do you know why else we love them dearly? Because they're just a genuinely awesome platform. Oh yes. So if you have not heard of Skillshare, what it is is an online learning community for all manner of creative things. It's basically a ton, thousands of online classes on every little creative thing your heart could possibly desire. We've got illustration, design, photography, freelancing, entrepreneurship, other types of like painting and art and stuff, sewing, a lot. I cannot wait to get my studio finished so I can get my like sewing area set up and I can start learning how to like make patterns and sew properly. So Skillshare will be very handy for that. I'd also quite like to do one of their like botanical illustration arty type classes with spring coming in and everything. I'm feeling very planty again. I feel like that would be very relaxing. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning so you're not gonna get any annoying adverts or anything like that. And if you get an annual subscription, it works out less than $10 per month. But of course, I am going to hook you up with a free trial. So the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So if there's anything creative that you've been wanting to do this year and you've been wanting to learn a new skill, got you covered. So yes, if you're interested in learning something new, then go ahead and click that link in the description. I'll leave a comment and let me know if there's anything new that you're wanting to learn, because I love hearing about that. Partially because then it gives me even more ideas, as if I need more hobbies. Give me more ideas. <laughs> so yes, thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And that is the end. So as I said before, do leave a comment, both about new skills or just like about how you've been doing or anything about the video. You know how it is, just tell me what you're thinking. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. I'd love to see that from you guys. If you're new here and you enjoyed my constant rambling, do feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the family. And speaking of joining the family, if you would like to extra be part of the family, link to my Patreon is down below and I would love it very much if you could check that out and have a look and see if it's something you'd maybe like to join because it really does keep me and this channel going it is almost certainly why this channel has survived for so long, which I think is around just over seven years now actually. It was my seven year YouTube anniversary a couple of days ago, which is scary. So thank you very much to patrons. If you would like to be part of that magic, the link is in the description. My mouth is very dry now. So that is me for tonight and I will see you next time. Bye lovelies!